Hey, I'm Dr. Shannon South, and I'm out on my morning hike. Just wanted to share with you the abundance around me. You know, my word for the year is abundance, and I don't know about you, but I like to pick a word for the year. My business coach encourages me to do that. And the reason I chose abundance is because it has the word dance in it. In fact, if you want to take a moment just to do a bun dance, you can do that. But the word dance is in abundance for a reason, I believe. It's because we are dancing with our world every day. We're dancing with every moment. I don't know if you can see how beautiful this is. This is so beautiful right around me. Just the water, the trees. There's a huge blue jay right here. Anyway, this word abundance, we're, we're dancing with the world around us all the time. And in this dance of life that we're doing, you know, it's a very sacred dance. It's a very um, quick dance. We are here and then we're gone. And so how important is it to bring in the abundance around us? Because we are so abundant already. And it's wonderful that we want to grow. It's wonderful that we want to move into different levels of abundance. And so that's why that's my word for the year is because I want to move into other levels of abundance and I want to experience some new things this year. And so I put that out there to say, hey, I really want to experience some new things. I really want to have some experience with abundance in a new way. So if you have that desire, put it out there yourself because we are always in a dance with the universe and for lack of a better word, because we are, our attitudes, our emotions, our thoughts are always in motion and they're always co-creating things around us. And so if you recognize that you are co-creating something you don't like, then let's dive deeper and find out what's going on. Because the only reason that we're not in abundance, because there's so much abundance, is that we are blocking it from our past, something that we believe about ourselves, some kind of emotion that's in the way, some kind of resistance, some kind of fear, or we're in the future and we're not living fully in our body in the present moment. So, you know, we tend to futurize and live in the past so often. And I want to encourage you just today to really pull yourself into your moment. Do it right now. Just stop, look around your home, look around where you are at work, look around where you are outside. Look at three things that bring you joy. Find three things that feel like abundance, like this sunshine right now, these trees. I wouldn't even be breathing without them. Look at this and then pull that into your heart and just say thank you because we are truly truly blessed and so just talking about abundance and knowing that you're growing into more abundance each and every day letting go of those things from the past living in your present moment and not stepping too far into the future because abundance is here right now now dreaming is great and we want to use dreaming we want to use setting intentions because you know where the attention goes the power flows so we definitely do not want to not dream because dreaming is the way that you know Albert Einstein said imagination is the preview of life's coming attractions so we want to dream because in the future what we're imagining could come true I remember Jim Carrey saying he used to imagine that he had these big checks and people were dying to get him in a movie and so years later when that happened he was just I think he was in tears because it happened exactly or similarly to as he had imagined so just give yourself the time to dream big, but also allow yourself to soak in the beautiful abundance around you. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.